Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 41 of our Project Architect 2 Let's Play series for today. As you can see, we are in one of our RF Tools dimensions. Uh, we're messing around with RF Tools, figuring out how to do some research. Um, we're talking about how in the world did the Andrada get 5 trillion EMC. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. Why is it a bad idea to iron your four leaf clover? <laughs> because you, you probably shouldn't press your luck there, buddy. Welcome back, my friends, to another wonderful day here in the world of the Andrada, where as you can see, um, well, if you take a look in the Pixie in the top left corner there, we got a lot of EMC. Um, 5.35 trillion EMC to be exact. So let's talk about some things that the Andrada did in between episodes, just to make things a little bit easier for us, a little bit faster, things like that. So first things first, I expanded our power, right? We, we had 2 million being generated. It really wasn't a big deal. We weren't utilizing it, but I want to go ahead and start filling up. I mean, we're not even going to come close to filling it up, but I want to start filling up our giant orb. So I expanded our nitro reactors over here. It's really easy to do. I mean, it's just nether stars essentially um and power for our power things so it really wasn't terribly too difficult to do um so i end up with uh, one two three four five six twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen um nitro reactors that's 17 million rf essentially a little bit less than that because they only generate nine hundred and sixty thousand instead of the full one million but close enough that it doesn't matter um yeah, lots of power. Each one of them is set up with uh, at the bottom here. I might not be able to get down to it. Oh, there we go. Each of them is set up with an export bus, which I can't access. But anyway, it's exporting these four things into it. And it has a crafting card if needed. Simple as that. OK, so we have power going on. Um, and then if we pop up to our orb of destiny. And we access this bad boy. We're going to see that we have 7 billion. Excuse me. I thought I was in fly mode. Thank you. We have 7 billion RF inside of here. Um, and it's still 0.0%. We haven't even touched 0.1% of the amount of power that we're able to store in here. We have a little bit of the, uh, you know, white moved over, I guess. I don't know if that's supposed to be white. It might even be supposed to be red. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we got a little bit, but we have 7 billion RF, and we're currently inputting at 15.7 million. So not going to complain about it, right? It, it, it's working pretty well. Um, and we're transferring over the full 15.7 million because, again, Flux Networks doesn't have a transfer limit and the orb doesn't have a transfer limit in and out. And then we're utilizing for everything. Our uh, fluctuates. It looks like sometimes it hits 100,000. So 100,000 RF, more than enough power. Uh, so we got that. But I wanted to expand that because very soon we're going to be getting into mechanism and we're going to need to get an SPS going. So we're going to want power for that mechanism. Absolutely can handle power with a fusion reactor and stuff. But I wanted to, uh, you know, get something else going, too. Um, anyway, with that being said, let's talk about the five trillion um, EMC that we have. So what I did was went into our EMC room. And as I mentioned before, this setup is scalable. Uh, so we had this guy set up and I went ahead. Oh, apparently we have Archimedes just floating around. You having trouble going into the, you know what? I was going to say, is it full? Wow, this is full of EMC. We need to actually go ahead and fix that. Okay, well, that's something that we can work on in a little bit. Uh, what I'll do for now is take out a set of these and then, or a couple of those and let that do. I don't know why I'm double tapping. My flight is getting on my nerves. Anyway, so we've expanded this out. So I've mirrored this on all sides. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, then 79, 10, 11, 12, and then... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, plus the center one, 19 total Archimedes setups um, while well, processing. And it's getting us about 800 million RF every other tick or so. So I will say like a billion RF total because, oh, geez, look at all this. Look at this waste. I need to get close and collect all of this, apparently. Thank you. I didn't think that would be an issue, but apparently <laughs> we're generating so much Archimedes that we don't have room for all of it in there. 
Uh, yeah. Anyway, so we have that going on. I have a lever here so I can disable all of these if I so chose. It is set up to be on the motors. So it just stops the motors from spinning. Um, and then I can go ahead and turn them back on as needed. Let's go ahead and shove all that into there. And we just got 40 billion more RF out of that. Um, so yeah, lever to control them, turn them all on and off. They're not in sync. Uh, ideally, I would have had them all at the same, like, spot. You know what I mean? Like, they all go to this bottom right. Um, but I didn't do that, and yeah. Over here, I had to go ahead and make a couple modifications. We had item transporters before. Uh, item transporters could not handle how much we needed. We have, you know, 19 of them, so it's about 19 every second, and it was only able to do about one every second. So it, it wasn't able to keep up with our demand. As soon as I scaled up to, I think it was five or six, it couldn't keep up. So I switched over to the Ultimate Logistical Transporters, and that worked for a while. Um, but then our EMC links started being the bottleneck. We had the basic EMC links, and they were unable to do it. They were only able to transfer 16 every something or other. Um, so I switched over to Cyan here. Each one of these is one and a half billion EMC, but it works. And we're doing good. Uh, so it looks like our biggest issue is the um, EMC link that we have out here is unable to handle the input fast enough. Uh, this guy should get upgraded. So he's currently item import limit is zero out of eight. So let's go ahead and look at um, EMC links. And what is the highest tier? Now, this doesn't say. Well, I guess technically none of them are saying. Oh, item import 256 a second. I mean, I guess I don't need to really spend 77, oh, a trillion EMC on this. I don't think I really need that right now. I mean, I guess I could for, I mean, we would never have to worry about it. Um, but let's go ahead and grab this. I mean, that's 2,000 items per second in a yellow EMC link. I think that should be more than enough. Uh, so that should allow that to export much faster. Are we still, we're still bouncing? Oh, I placed the magenta back down. What? There we go. Uh, let's do that. There we go. So now that should be able to start draining. Yes, there we go. Okay. Uh, so it's 2048 and I don't know how often that resets item import limit. Like what is the reset time on that? I mean, it does seem to be pretty quick because it's 1920, 1984, 1920, 1984. So it is resetting fairly quickly so i'm not going to be too concerned now we should be good to go okay so now we are now we're cooking with oil and we have 5.47 trillion emc now again we need more like uh, ultimately uh our final ingredients our fi fading matter block that's the final emcable thing that we're able to make um is four trillion each and in order to make what we want which is our final star or really my goal would be to make the tome of knowledge right that unlocks everything transmutation that's my end goal to get to in order to do this we need a total of eight final stars um, and each final star requires a white matter block a white fuel block so that's 1.5 trillion right there i have no idea how to get that stuff but it also requires a final shard Oh, this is 422 trillion for a colossal star. Jeez, Louise, we need to, uh, wow, we need to uh, ramp up our EMC production, apparently. 422 trillion? I thought my four was going to be decent. <laughs> nope. Um, but we also need our final star, which is a fading matter block each. So we need, I, I mean, I'm just going to say 400 um, plus this four, so five. So we're, we need like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we need 430 trillion per final star yeah, because we have to run this through six times for each one of these. So let's just say 450 trillion EMC for every final star. And in order to make the Tome of Knowledge, we need eight of those. So we need a lot of EMC. Now, these final stars are used to make things. Um, now, it does say a recipe here for the creative bin, um, but it does require a creative vending upgrade, which it itself does not have a recipe. So I don't know what that's about. I don't know if we can actually use that. Um, like, and this is creative source jar, which that one we could do. So I don't know if there's something funky going on with the um, with that one, but like... I can't create the creative bin. We can create fi uh, fluid tanks, um, which probably would be a good idea for that hyper experience or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, like things. 
and a creative controller. No um, creative, I guess, creative energy. So energy cube, which is kind of nice. But can we craft these? Yeah, we can craft those. Okay, anyway, I, I'm getting off topic. I'm digressing from what we're working on. Uh, anyway, so those are the things that we had uh, in between episodes. So what I would like to do today, so our, our major goal today's episode is going to be to make this arch illusion. Honestly, shouldn't be terribly too difficult at all. I could probably go ahead and take care of that now um, because I have access to all this stuff. We have the refined sunflower oil based on last episode. Uh, we worked on getting that going and we have the archimorph. The only complicated thing was these basalts, blizz and blitz. And I just went around at night and found the other two. We already had blizz cubes, um, but I found basalts and blitz and just, you know, murderated them and got the stuff that we needed for it. So I only have one of each. I didn't stick around and get a bunch of them. But uh, yeah, so we should honestly be able to make the arch illusion right now. Everything is available. So that should not take terribly too long. The next step is to make the archium, which is going to require us to get into chaotic uh, draconic. So we need to definitely go this very soon. Before I do that, I do want to look into making um, the mech suit, I guess. I don't know. I'm torn both ways. I've heard that the gem armor itself can tank. It has like a 95 or 90% um, reduction on uh, the Chaos Guardian. So we might be able to just stick with this and not have to worry about it. But at the same time, I don't know. So I, do I need a mech suit? Do I need... Is this okay? I know I probably want to get into um, draconic weapons because last time we fought the dragon, it was a pain. It took me about an hour and a half to do. So I didn't care for that. But um, I don't know where we want to go with this. I guess we'll see. But that's our next goal is to get there. Before I do that, though, I do want to start working on getting into mechanism. We're going to need to work on getting ourselves a fusion or fission reactor. This guy. Um Fission, there's a controller. Sure, we'll just go fission reactor, fuel assembly, whatever. It puts it on my to-do list. Um, and we're going to need to get the, uh, no, the, it's the orange things. What are they, tower? Um, evaporation. We're going to need to get evaporation towers because we're going to need this to get brine and lithium and stuff. So these are the things that we're going to work on. And the reason that I want to work today with RF tools is for this process. Mechanism um, is great, but it requires, uh, when you get into late game mechanism stuff, it requires daytime. Um, and I don't have daytime all the time, right? It's daytime, nighttime, daytime, nighttime. That's how the world works. However, with RF tools, we are able to create dimensions that have different days or nights or whatever it is we can set it to be just daytime we can set it to be just nighttime uh, so i've been playing around trying to figure out how does this work right we uh, we tried earlier i didn't really know um so what we have going on here is lost knowledge okay all of those lost knowledges that we get from our mob farm those can come into this block here called the researcher and the researcher is going to con wrong button uh the researcher is going to convert those into knowledge. So you're going to see pattern unknown. And now we have pattern uncommon block. And we can do the same thing with these ones. And we get buried treasures. And then we get uncommon block again. So we get duplicates. But duplicates are good because you need a loss. You need a knowledge for every thing that you want to craft. So if I want to craft some sort of uncommon block, I don't know, say gold ore. Well, I'd have to have if I wanted two dimensions, I would need two of these. Get what I'm saying? Like they're limited by how many you want. So anyway, so you let this do its thing. It's going to research things for you. We don't necessarily need to sit here and do all these. Or I can just let them chill because we put them inside of our holder here um, and we have it attached to our dimlet workbench. And that is what allows us to craft everything. So we can craft specific dimlets, right? We get dimlets from our mob farm, but we don't get access to all dimlets, I don't believe, or it's just they're rare, right? We don't get a ton of them because it requires an Enderman to be killed, and Endermen aren't spawning every second in our mob farm. Could we set up a mob farm for Endermen? Absolutely, but not going to do that. So what we have going on in our dimlet workbench is we can specify and we can create dimlets, right? So let's say I want a dimlet that has a time attribute of day. 
pretty simple. I come in here, I need these things. I'm also going to need some of these things. I don't know exactly what. I haven't, haven't gotten that far yet, but I know I need these for sure. And specifically, the things that I don't have are these, right? Um, it is the RF tools, dimensions, the blobs, or dimensional essence, right? Uh, there is common, there is rare, and there is legendary. And we need, we're going to end up ultimately probably wanting all three of those at some point in order to craft our own custom dimensions where we can actually specify exactly what we want. Like I want a birch forest during the day that has uh, diorite all around it, whatever I want. And then that will be our dimension where we can do mechanism in because it's going to always be daytime or it's always going to be nighttime and things like that. Like there's one with emerald ore, like I can get blocks of emeralds we that's i don't think those are emcable but we could do blocks of diamond i could switch my dimlet that i have over here with the blocks of iron and then put blocks of diamond instead and then get those out of emc so yeah pretty nifty uh, however the bottleneck as we said is going to be the dimensional essence right we don't have i don't think i have any or maybe i have yeah, I have some of the common and I don't think you can craft up. You have to actually kill the mobs. So what I'm hoping you can see here, I have golden eggs and rotten eggs. Um, I'm hoping maybe we can put uh, the rotten egg. I'm, I'm going to assume it's a rotten egg because they're hostile mobs. I made both just because I could. Um, but I want to see, does it allow them to spawn? Because if it does, we can set up a mob farm over here just to farm these these essences, essentially, right? Uh, let's go ahead. We want small square and mine that out. And then, uh, excuse me, one more each side. Uh, but with this, maybe, maybe this will allow us to do the thing, you know, and spawn these guys in. Because they do spawn in, it's and it's not necessarily that it's that super rare, but they're kind of sort of rare. So, I mean, it is called a rare dimensional essence and everything. So hopefully by doing this, we can get them to spawn in and then we or we can force the spawn. Does it have to be a slime chunk? That's the thing. I don't I don't know. I don't know any way of finding if it needs to be a slime chunk either. Um Let's just go ahead and do the rotten egg. Uh, it does need to be nighttime. I forgot about that. It's going to start cooking my stuff. Let's get some planks. And uh, I forgot this part. I'm not supposed to have light. I actually don't think it cooks the, the stuff anymore. Uh, Cursed Earth used to get um, cooked when it was... What was the mod? I don't even remember the name of the mod. Um... But anyway, it would get too hot, right? And then you couldn't do it. Um, let's get a building gadget. It's been about time. Building gadget. Thank you. Uh, we need some spruce. And build to me. Love building gadgets. Works so well. All right, let's get it dark inside of there. Bam. And get the walls going. And then we should have ethereal glass, but like the dark version, tinted uh -huh. ethereal glass. Yeah, this stuff. Sure. Okay. So we have witches and stuff spawning, but do we have the... 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 What? Expanded... Extended inventory still locked. Eat the cake. Were those the dimensional guys? Are you? No, you're just regular slimes. I keep pressing the wrong button. So yeah, I don't know if the the guys that I want are actually going to spawn in. Uh, let's get let's speed this up, right? Let's get a redstone clock and make sure this thing is you know max speed and go from there. I guess we'll see. Otherwise, it's a manual process. I'm going to have to go around. Um, oops, I put the redstone clock away. I'm going to have to go around and kill the things manually, which is going to be a pain. 
or does it need to be a special chunk you know like I, I, I honestly I don't know I don't know always on bring you down go fast I'm not seeing anything fancy spawning in the there's a blizz So is this not viable? I mean, regular slime spawn in, right? Like, huh. Okay, so, but so far, none of the special slimes. So I guess, I mean, I, I, I'm going to assume it has to be, why are they dying too? I don't understand that. What? killed that guy or did he just spawn in the walls okay um so what do i do about that problem then like how do i how do i get these essences these slime essences that i need for this in a manner that's not going to require me to have to manually go get all of them i mean if that's the case i really only need the rare because i just want to make it daytime all the time so what are you Oh, you're like a little gecko or lizard or something. So I'm going to do some research. Um, and then uh, it's about wrapping up time for today's episode. So let me... Oh, you know what? Did I ever chunk load that? Oh, yeah, I did. Um, let me do some research and figure out, can this be um, tricked into spawning? Did I just not pick a right chunk? Or do I need a specific dimension, maybe? Uh, there's a way to force these slimes to spawn because like none of them are even spawning around here. If I remember, I don't think it was this dimension. I got my first slimes, but I got them from somewhere, obviously. Look at the dirt houses and the dirt trees because it replaced <laughs> the quarry replaced it. So it turned it into dirt houses and dirt trees. That's kind of funny. Um Anyway, I, 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 I'm digressing a lot here. Let me go ahead and uh, do the thing. We'll figure it out. And then uh, we'll come back next episode and we'll know some more about this uh, and get this setup going. And if not, we'll just I'll just manually go kill them in between episodes. It's not that big of a deal. Um, we'll just I probably have to get another dimension, though, because I'm not seeing any spawn here at all. Like there is none on this map at all. Or in my general vicinity. Anyway, uh, that's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. Uh, it really does help with the channel. Tips, tricks, suggestions, all that good jazz. Let me know in the comments. As always, uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And we will see you in the next one. Have a good one.